Remember that you do have a transponder that you're responsible for, and uh, you need to make sure you have that on your bike before you get down the station. We will uh, be checking that to make sure it's charged up. So just please do not forget the transponder. All right, guys, Saturday morning, first race day. Uh, we escaped the rain yesterday all day. And then last night, about 2 or 3 a.m., it just came a downpour so hard that it woke us all up in the camper. It only did that for about 15 or 20 minutes. So they're coming over the PA saying it's pretty muddy out there. I just went up and checked. It doesn't look like it's as muddy as it was yesterday morning for practice. So I'm actually gonna throw in yesterday's gear, yesterday's helmet, yesterday's boots to go out for practice just so I don't get my new, so I don't get anything I wanna race in destroyed. So uh, only 12 motos today and three LCQs I believe. So hoping things are gonna move pretty quick. But I don't, I don't know if I told you guys already or not, but we're running three 15 minute motos so it's been years since i've ran a 15 minute moto in 90 degree heat and we got to run three of them in the next two days so it's going to get interesting it's probably going to come down to those last three or four laps just trying to manage hand cramps and not whiskey throttle over some of these bigger doubles so we'll see but uh yeah about to lace up and go out for our first practice so uh Wish me luck. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this filling in. I want to dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home. Our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this stone. Let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back home guys I'm kicked back here in the chair it's 90 degrees it's sweltering uh, <laughs> originally when they posted the tentative moto order yesterday I was eighth of 12 and uh, when they redid it I'm 12 to 12 so uh, I got to practice this morning when the track was muddy from the rain last night and when I go out um, guys are saying it's already dry as a bone dusty kickers in the faces I was standing up there at the grandstands watching the races and like I got tired standing watching before the 15 minutes of the, of the moto was up so I can't imagine what it's going to be like to be out there on the track 15 minute moto 90 degree heat so kind of uh, shifting into pure survival mode just going to try to uh, try to get into a cruise that I can handle for 15 minutes try to keep from whiskey throttling or uh, try to stay out of the main lines where those kickers probably are find some smooth lines and just cruise and just enjoy it man it's like whenever you're my age it's like you got a lot of responsibilities i got two people here with me that i need to make sure i can get home i got the rest of the summer i need to make sure i can enjoy with my little boys so we're just gonna have fun cruise enjoy it and do the best we can Washed my bike after practice, threw a fresh air filter in it. Uh, probably gonna have to go out to town tonight and uh, pick up some more fuel. Cause we've, I had generator problems the first couple days. So I've been afraid to even turn the generator off. So it's ran for 
almost 24 hours straight at this point. I took the side off of it to let it cool a little better. But uh, yeah, I'm afraid to shut it off because we cannot get by without the AC. If I shut it off and I can't get it started, you know, we'll have to go out and buy a generator or something. It's just that hot. So we'll go out tonight, get some fuel, get some water, and uh, yeah. Hopefully we get two motos in today, which will leave one tomorrow. But it just depends. If we get delayed, I might end up having to do one today and two tomorrow, so who knows. I uh, would like to get an early start out of here tomorrow, so hopefully we get two in today. But all right, I'm about three or four motos away, so uh, go ahead and start getting geared up and uh, I'll see you guys on the starting line. You and me stuck on the ocean now, nothing but waves in this villain in. Dry up a two Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here All my reasoning have disappeared I wanna bury the hatchet And find a way back to our home Our home, our home We don't have to drift Inside this dome I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay back in the chair it's about six o'clock in the evening um, my moto was 12th and we ended up getting all the way through the motos the first time is this lens fogging up we ended up getting all the way through the motos the first time and then all the way to number nine on the second rotation so that puts me at like third moto in the morning which will be cool because the track will be decent uh, so far, every time I've rode this trip, it's either been first thing in the morning with the track muddy or at the end of the day with the track destroyed. So I'm, I'm pumped to get some good track time, third moto in the morning. But uh, also, I'll have to stay all day and ride the second 15 minute moto at the very end of the day. Can't imagine how brutal it was gonna be. As far as how my first moto went, uh, we started out with 45 guys here in 30 plus on Friday. We whittled that down to 42 when the gate dropped the today. Um, I came out 24th 
I got second to last skate pick out of 42 guys. Was way over against the woods in a mud hole. Uh, came out 24th and just kind of just kind of fell back, guys. Had no idea what to pace myself. The heat's really gotten to me. Um, there's one triple and there's a wall into the rollers, which I'm not jumping, which almost everybody else is. Um, so I just had guys just passing me over that every lap, but uh, ended up 29th. So still beat 13 guys. Um, I'm sure a few of those guys that did bad will probably drop out and leave. Um, so I'll probably still be somewhere around the same place tomorrow, but I'm not worried about it. It's just uh, it's the fun. It's been a nice weekend camping. The phone service for Verizon here is garbage. There's one or two spots I can sneak a text out, but I can't update the YouTube story. I can't update TikTok. It's driving me nuts. So we just ran into town, got some McDonald's. And let me tell you this. As of the date of this video, do not try to dine in anywhere in the state of Georgia because this is not going to happen. We can't find anywhere we can eat inside. Like, <clears throat> I don't know. The place is still locked down, I guess. It's sad and pathetic at this point. Um, I don't know. But, but yeah, we went to town, got some, got some hot food, uh, filled up some water to Sitco gas station. And, uh, yeah, just relaxing one more evening. And uh, I'm just dreading the fact that i got to wake up in the morning ride three times two of which are 15 minute motos so it's going to be 92 degrees tomorrow and then drive six and a half hours home with a three-year-old so wish me luck fellas and one other thing i want to mention is my new x brand goggles the x brand uh, xs this is my first time wearing them and i'm super impressed it may just be the shape of my head but they sealed perfectly against my face I didn't get any dirt. Now this is a 42 man start, so if I was ever gonna get dirt splashing around in my goggle like I normally do, that it would have happened and it didn't. Um, things are just perfect, I love them. Shout out to X Brand for uh, putting me on the team, hooking me up. I'll put a link down below guys to their site and uh, where you can get some XS. And uh, yeah, see you in the morning.